thanks for tuning into today's video. Um, I am going to be doing kind of like a Valentine's Day eyeshadow look for my eyes today. I kind of had this idea to do kind of like a mini series leading up to Valentine's Day. So today's going to be look number one. And before Valentine's Day does come, I do want to upload at least two more. So like a three video makeup series. I do have several different looks that I want to do before Valentine's Day does come around. So this is going to be video number one in the series. And like I said, it's going to be a smoky eye, some purple, some pink, just a little bit of color. But it is going to be more of a, a dark eyeshadow look. I already so. primed my skin. I have super, super dry skin right now, just around this area. And I have been sick. I still am a little bit sick. So if I sound a little bit congested, it's because... I am and I don't feel bad I am feeling okay just a couple days ago it was my birthday and I was sick on my birthday the day after my birthday I was even more sick and I was just absolutely miserable I was in bed for like two days straight and it was really bad that's why I did want to take advantage since I am feeling better I wanted to just sit down and record a video I actually already primed my skin like I said I have super dry skin right now I couldn't stand the way I was feeling I did put moisturizer to use the NYX total control drops I love this foundation I've used it before it comes with a little dropper just like this so I like to just put some on my face straight from the dropper and then just start to buff it out this is the shade 06 which is vanilla i feel like i could i've actually bought the seven before as well this one is pretty light but once i blend it out it doesn't look too light for me but like i said if i'm a little bit more tan especially during the summer or around march like spring break time when i'm spending a lot of time outside i do go for the number seven my skin is naturally a little bit more tan during those months I always like to put some right down my forehead and it just kind of drips through my eyebrows. I'm also putting a little bit over my eyelids just because since, since I am sick right now, you can really tell. Especially with the skin around my eyes, it looks so dark and like I'm exhausted. I just look like I'm not okay right now. And so I really do need good concealer. For my concealer today, I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I have had this little concealer for so long, but since ever since I bought the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, I haven't been using this one much. I used to love this one. This used to be my absolute favorite concealer. It's a good one. I can't find my Shape Tape Concealer today. I think I left it in my car or something. So I am going to be using this one. This one I like to take a little bit on my finger just like this, and I just dab it, and then I'll buff it out with a brush. Oh, squirt it out. I'm going to take a little bit down my nose and just a little bit right here on my chin and my forehead. Um, the thing about this concealer is that it's very, very creamy, hydrating, so if you do have dry skin like I do right now, um, it's going to give you a little bit of a boost of hydration, which is good. But since it's very, very creamy, it's very moist and it's super soft. I'm just buffing out the edges a little bit so that you can't see where my concealer ends. Okay, so for my powder, I'm going to be I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this right here, like that, and then I'm just gonna buff it around all over my face. But I'm priming my eyes with the Elf eyeshadow primer. As you all know, that is my absolute favorite eyeshadow primer. You have to be really careful. I try to be gentle around this area of my face with my fingers. The skin around your eyes is so delicate that you do want to be very gentle when you're patting around concealer or primers. And I know sometimes I'm very rough with my skin, but then I remind myself that you kind of cause premature wrinkles when you do that, when you're really rough with your skin. So it reminds me not to do that. But sometimes when you're in a rush or you're just doing your makeup, you get so, in especially me, I get so into it that I just forget. Try to be gentle with your eyes. Don't do what I do. Just do as I say, not as I do, because I know that I'm super rough with my eyes. For my bronzer, I'm using the Benefit Hula Bronzer. I'm just gonna contour with this. If you haven't tried Hula Bronzer, you need to try it. It's just the perfect shade of bronze. It's not too orange, it's not too dark. I always put some around my forehead, down my nose, and under my chin. Whenever I put some on my nose, I try not to be too heavy with my hand. Just because you don't want your nose to look orange, you kind of just want to give a little bit of a shadow to the edges of your nose. So I also like to do some down here just to define your jawline. These earrings do, they're too big. <laughs> they're getting in the way. Oh! So 
for my highlighter, I'm taking Max Mineralize Skin Finish. This one is in the shade Light Scapade, so it's a beautiful white, pearly, um, iridescent type of highlight. It looks so beautiful once you put it on. So this highlighter is so beautiful, it just kind of gives you a nice glow. So I went ahead and I did my eyebrows off camera. I did use the Dip Brow Pomade in Medium Brown. This is my absolute favorite eyebrow product. I use it all the time. Um, so I just went and I used this Sephora brush right here. It's, it has the very thin bristles on this side and over on this side it has the spoolie. So I love this brush for my eyebrows. I'm going to start with my eyeshadow. I just need to clean my brush a little bit. For cleaning my brushes, like spot cleaning, I've been loving the Sephora Dry Clean. This thing is so good. Sometimes when you have like this, like I wanna use this brush right now, but it's too dark. Like there's an eyeshadow that I just used maybe earlier or yesterday. I have a towel right here laying down. So I just spray this onto the bristles just a little bit like that, and then you just swirl it around into the towel. And it just removes all of the eyeshadow Anything that's on that brush, it just removes it, and it's so amazing because for some reason, look, it's completely clean right now. It's so, it's completely clean. All of the black eyeshadow that was in here is now on the towel. And what's weird is when you touch the bristles, they're dry. So it's just amazing. It's like a magical product or something because most of the time when you use a brush cleanser, sorry. A lot of times when you use a brush cleanser, you can't use it right away because it's going to be wet. So you're going to need to wait like an hour or two waiting for them to dry. Sometimes you just don't have time for that. So I love this one. Again, it's the Sephora Dry Clean Instant Dry Brush Cleaner Spray. That's what it says here. I do recommend that you wash your brushes. You give them a, a good deep clean over in the sink, shampoo them, let them dry overnight. But you don't have to be doing that every single use. So that's a really good alternative. I'm going to start off with this eyeshadow right here, which is called Love. Very nice matte pink. This eyeshadow, I'm going to put it into my crease area right here. Um, this is actually going to be my transition shade. Usually I start with like a light brown. I want this to be more of a Valentine's Day inspired makeup look. So that is why I'm using pink. So I am using a real technique. A, a real technique. What is this? A Real Techniques brush. These are amazing brushes you find them at Ulta. I'm just going to be taking another brush, another blending brush. This is a MAC 217. This one's also dirty as well because I used it yesterday. I'm just going to spray it again with my, with my dry clean and I'm swirling it around in the towel. Here's the brush. It's clean. It's dry. It's ready to go. That Brush cleaner is so amazing. The next shade that I'm going to be taking is this one right here, which is called Celestial. It is a shimmery purple, and I am going to be putting that in the crease. A lot of people say you can't be putting cre um, shimmery shades in your crease, but it's makeup. I, I honestly feel like there's no right way or wrong way to do it. If you feel like it looks good, if you're comfortable, if you like how it looks, then go ahead and do it. Who cares? There's no rules in makeup. So this one, I'm going to be putting it right under the pink one that I just put. This one, I don't want to blend it up way too much just because I do want that pink to continue showing. As you can see, there's no chunky glitter. There's no, there's nothing like that going on. So this is a really safe shade to use in the crease if you are concerned about putting glitter there. Um, I'm just going to go in with the black shade. This is Obsidian and this is from the Prism palette. They have the best black eyeshadow I've ever used in my whole life. I'm going to apply that one to my lip. Hopefully I don't get a lot of fallout with this because it is such a dark color. Usually whenever I grab it from the pan, I just dust it off like this with my finger and most of the fallout that would have occurred comes out. So I don't really worry about that too much. But I am going to be doing this like all over my lid from the inner corner to the outer corner. But I don't want to go too high since I do want the pinks to show. I'm flipping over my brush and I'm using the more precise end. I'm just going to get some of this and put it right here in the inner corner of my eye. Now, I do want to kind of make like that moon shape on my lid. So now that I have the black eyeshadow down, I'm going to just do the same thing to the other eye. And I'll be right. I just did the black eyeshadow on my other eye. Um, as you can see, it looks really, really harsh. 
we don't want it to we don't want to keep it this way we are going to buff it out i'm going to take the pink and the purple shades one more time i'm going to start off with the purple one and i'm just going to take this one i'm going to place this purple shadow right on the edge of the black like i said i don't want this black to go too high i do want to keep it really nicely packed on the lid I don't want this to be a dark look, but I don't want it to be such a smoky eye where you have no color. You know what I mean? Um, but I feel like this looks so beautiful. It's just a little bit of black and I'm already loving it. I'm going to blend out the black eyeshadow with more black um, eyeshadow on my brush. I actually just put the purple one and I went around the edge to kind of lightly blend it out. I do want to try out this ColourPop supernova eyeshadow as you can see it does look purple it's really holographic i don't know if the camera's picking it up this is in the shade called from the valley and this is what it looks like so it does reflect purple i just don't want to go in with this applicator because i feel like i'm not going to have too much control over it so i'm just actually going to take the tip of my finger and dab it onto the applicator really lightly and i'm just going to add a little bit of this to my eyelid and see what happens hopefully the vision that I have in my mind is what happens I'm just lightly adding this to the center of my eyelid and I'm kind of like keeping it around the lash line I'm basically just rubbing this eyeshadow into my lash line So I'm going in with this applicator just to see if it gives me a little bit of more of an opaque look and it definitely does. It's so much more opaque. I'm just going to add this shade right here to my lower lash line. It's the shade the shade name is called Drama. It's a dark purple I'm taking the shade right here, which is called Dreamer, and I'm going to be popping this one into my inner corner. I'm going to pop it right in here. Um, since I am using a lot of pinks, I do want to add a blush today. I feel like it'll tie in the Valentine's Day vibes with the pink eyes, the pink cheeks, and the pink lips. This is a MAC blush. This is called Dame. Um, it's just a really nice baby pink type of color. I'm going to just put some of this onto the apples of my cheeks. Just to give myself some color, I do want to keep the Valentine's Day vibes going with the rest of the face. So I am going to be doing pink cheeks and I do want to do pink lips also. I used to have this little tiny collection of MAC blushes and I just loved buying them. Um, so that one's really pretty. It used to be one of my absolute favorite ones. In high school, I would use Dame Blush by MAC every single day. I loved it so much. Um, the name of these lashes will be listed below. They look like this. I have used them on my channel before. Um, there's a hair stuck on them. As always, I'm using my Kiss Lash Adhesive. This is the black um, glue as well. I just love this one so much. It's so tacky. I feel like the tackier, the better. Whenever I get a lash glue and it's just really runny, and I struggle with it so much. So I'm just, I just apply it right here to the lash band with my tweezers. Okay, so I just added my lashes, but I do feel like as soon as I put my lash on, the glitter and the lash kind of just smudged together. As you can see, the glitter just looks kind of messy. So I am going to be taking my Wet n Wild black eyeliner. I'm just simply going to trace the lash band um, just so I can kind of get a barrier between the lashes and the glitter. I feel like it's going to be way better just to go over this black band. Now it definitely looks like the lash band is crisp and it's clean. I like that so much better than when I just had the glitter kind of messy everywhere. Now it just looks like I have a thin line of glitter, which is so cute. I'm going to be using a Kylie Cosmetics lipstick. This one is in Harmony. It's a nice, pretty, um, peachy pink. So this is how the color looks. It's really, really pretty. It's like a peachy pink color. So now I'm just going to be adding a little bit of mascara to my lower lash line. 
So that is a completed look. I feel like Valentine's Day, we need to start bringing out the purples, the pinks. Whenever you think of Valentine's Day, you just automatically think of red. So I actually love how this turned out. I love the little line of glitter that shows through just right here over on the top of the lashes. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Please like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, if you have any video requests, please leave them down below. Like I said, this is going to be video number one out of a three video series by Valentine's Day I am going to have two to three more Valentine's Day inspired looks for you all basically that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching again and I'll see you on my next